Hi guys and girls and kittens and welcome to iNero. In this video I'm going to show you something kick-ass cool, which is how to connect ChatGPT, machine learning and AI to your local database, whatever that database happens to be. Now if you don't have an ex a database of yourself or you don't want to connect it to your own private database immediately, then you can download an example uh, plugin database here. We have three of them. I've already installed Sakila. It takes a couple of minutes. Uh, so I've already done that before. And then I've configured my open AI API key and my reCAPTCHA key. I can't show you this, but you go to configuration. Then you get a button up here that says configure open AI API key and configure reCAPTCHA. Just click those and you configure both of those. If you want to connect to an existing database, you can click the connect thing here and then you can choose MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server. You paste in your connection uh, string here and then you paste in a name for your connection here, to which point you, you, you gain access to that database, assuming it's exposed to the internet somehow. Uh, if you want to whitelist the IP, you can actually find the IP uh, I think you find it a server IP. It doesn't correctly show now, but uh, you, you can uh, figure that out later. Now, what I want to do is that I want to go to Create and I want to go to SQL Studio. Now, remember, I told you I'd already installed a plugin database and I've installed Sakila. Yet again, you can do that from database if you if you want to reproduce what I've done, but it takes a couple of minutes to install the database. So I've kind of like cheated a little bit up front. However, this is actually an example database published by Oracle that has been ported to SQLite, and it's basically a 25-year-old DVD rental database, believe it or not. But it serves the purpose as an example. Now, if you click SQL view here now, because the database uh, happens to come with a lot of uh, pre-existing uh, SQL snippets, then I can immediately execute, for instance, this one that selects the actors and uh, film here, right? Now it basically selects um, every single film that is in its database and the number of actors that are participating in this particular uh, field. Now I can do, uh, for instance, uh, order by actors descending, and then I can do limit 10. And now I'm getting the top uh, 10 uh, movies from the database with the most number of actors in them. Now I have a valid SQL. I can copy this SQL. I can go to manage, I can go to hyper lambda, and I can write data.connect column, two square brackets, generic pipe, sakila. Then I do data.select column, alpha, two double quotes, and I paste in my SQL in between the two double quotes, click F5, executes it. And immediately now you can see we actually have a semantic uh, return value from our hyper lambda being a list object uh, naming each film and each actor. Now, what I can do, I can now go to manage and I can open my machine learning models in a different window. Why? Because I might want to have a look at this uh, structure uh, as I'm editing this um, machine learning model. Then I want to create a new machine learning model. I'm just going to call mine foo, right? And basically that's it. So I click save. Now I click training data. Then I choose my foo uh, machine learning model, then I click add, and then I write how many actors played in each Sakila movie. This becomes kind of like a question. Notice it is based upon semantic search, so you can write anything that like is similar to this question. It doesn't have to be the exact same question. Then what I want to do, I want to have two of these guys. And then I'm pasting in this uh, code here now. Whoops, I need to go back here. Paste in this code <laughs> because I need a hyperlambda code. And then let me write a temporary variable uh, dot uh, result for each colon x colon at data dot select slash asterisk. It's going to be an article associated with this YouTube video, or you can copy and paste the code. Then cache turn, three spaces, three spaces till, uh, set value, colon x, 
colon at dot result one two three four five six seven eight nine strings dot concat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve get value I should probably have a colon behind result here otherwise I might get a null result at dot result and then let me just copy these uh, spaces and then um, uh, let me see here uh, film film uh, actor count and then get value column x column at dot dp slash hash slash asterisk slash and then I'm gonna look film film like this and actors I think actors yes and now basically what it is doing let me add one more guy basically what it's doing is constructing a string right single string entity now what i want to do is that i want to go uh, let me see data select let's remove these uh, comments i guess they're not really then we have one two three okay one two three return colon x colon at dot result now what it's basically doing is that it's uh, returning uh, every single film with the name of the film and the number of actors that played in that particular film. What I can do now is to save this guy and what I, then I can go to my models and then I just click vectorize and I have one training snippet or two, which I am now vectorizing. And I can now start asking my model questions. Now, if you uh, go to manage and you go to hyperlamna, and then you load snippets and then you write context because we might want to test out our context first, right? And then you write in a prompt, who played in what movie? Question mark. Hopefully this is going to work. And now, of course, I need to use the model type foo. I want to use text embedding ADA. And then here's my prompt threshold and max tokens. And now I can execute it. Hopefully if I've done everything correctly, you will see here that how many actors played in each Sakila movie and ta-da! And we should probably have some spaces here, I presume. So let's go back to our machine learning model and let's edit this particular snippet. And let's add some spaces, actor counts. Save it and execute it again. See if you now can get some slightly better spacing. And here you can see actor count. Film, mummy creatures, actor count 11. Now I can actually use this as a machine learning uh, context. And I can go to my models and I can ask uh, how many actors played in the dinosaur movie? And with a little bit of luck now, it's actually going to provide me with the correct uh, in the Sakila dinosaur movie, uh, the correct uh, answer. Uh, let me see. Why it doesn't work? Let's change it to mummy creature. Um, let's try again. Obviously, it needs to actually know the answer to the question. And ta-da, there we are. It's answering correctly. In the Sakila Mummy Creatures movie, 11 actors played. We can actually go to our context and verify that. Mummy Creatures, 11. If we ask uh, submarine beds, for instance, we probably don't even need to have Sakila. Nine actors. So what I've done now is that I've created a hyper lambda snippet 
that is being semantically matched towards my question, this being my question, right? That hyperland snippet is actually executing SQL towards my local database called Sakila. And it can be any arbitrary SQL, and then it's constructing a string out of my SQL, important, and it's returning that to the caller. And then Hyper Lambda is actually submitting that text to ChatGPT as the context for answering my particular question, whatever that question is, in all Sakila movies. And of course, my SQL can be anything. My database can be anything. And my question can be anything. And here we have exactly correctly adding up the number of actors to in total. Of course, some of these actors were over overlapping. So, but that doesn't matter. The point is, it's actually dynamically reaching into my database, fetching data from my database and sending it to ChatGPT. That is pretty kick-ass if you ask me. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.